Let's talk about full width section. So let's go ahead and draw our favorite thing as we start every video off as our square. Full width section. So we have three of them here, right? So we have our header and our footer down here. Let's not worry about that. So we have three sections and there's scrolling down. Almost always we want to have some kind of call to action or some kind of like sub call to action that's bringing you to the main call to action. So let's just worry about this one. So I would, it was a expert website. There I am. Hi, with my hat. Then about. Very, very simple. With my call to action button, that's going to go to wherever. Wherever it needs to go to. So that's my about section. So that's just the big ass image, title, text, button. Very simple. You can do that in all kinds of different arrangements. So you can put that on this side and text over here. You can have simple like headline in the middle let's just do that so uh info and then have then have a quote from bob so that's like a centered section and it's just full width right so let's just say this is not full width down here this would be a not full width one Right, because there's going to be gaps here and gaps here. And this one, there's going to be gaps as well. But usually I'm thinking about the, the, this one would have like a dark background, right? And I'm and merging in with the background, doing whatever. Big belly. So that's what I'm doing. That's how I would design that these sections. This is, I would also consider maybe also a full width section, especially if I'm adding some kind of like, say this was a design. Which almost looks like some kind of cool design. The hero sections, this is basically a hero section for the most part, but we're just making multiple little sections because when we're trying to get someone's attention, and they're looking down at the, the web page, there's, they're looking for things that hop, pop out of them because they're going to start at the top of the page and go all the way to the bottom and then go up and then they're gonna stop at something that has caught their attention. Yeah. Like what has got this guy's attention is the exposed belly button on my little guy here. And that stop them from scrolling. So they go to the top, bottom, and they find something to stop at. So they're skimming or they might stop along the way. But you're trying to do something bold in these sections. That's why you're doing full width sections. So almost like mini websites. You're trying to capture. It's like a mini hook. It's a mini HSO. A mini hook story offer. And every single one of these sections, you're either trying to get one part of that or the whole thing trying to like re reiterate your hook some kind of distill your story continue on your story or you're trying to boost the offer or you're trying to do all of them in one it's like you know or you're trying it could be not as obvious it could be obviously you know that would be suck if every single section is basically saying the same thing which i'm guilty of doing which is, just makes copywriting hard but full width sections all about grabbing attention because let's say You've already spent all this money and all this time building this great header or hero. You have this great hero section. You spent all this time and money on the video and everything. It's great. And then they scroll down. You use a sticky video. So the video is right here all the time. And then they scroll down. And then you need to stop them from scrolling and look at and read something. And then they're gonna scroll again, and then you need to stop them from scrolling. And you know, because the scrolling is trying to digest everything, but scrolling is not going to convert them because scroll to the top, scroll to the bottom, scroll to the top, exit. If they go from top, bottom, bam, they're gonna exit. So you wanna stop them on the journey down and on the journey up, because they're not gonna do it again. Maybe they'll do it a few, a few more times, but they go to the bottom top and then do that again. Then there's nothing interesting on the page for them. They might leave it open, go to another tab, forget about it and close it later without even thinking. And, or if they leave it open and they come back to it, 
you want to make sure that whatever they're coming back to is popping out at them. So that's where you do graphic design and just make sure it looks cool as much as you can. That's how I think of full sections. You can use them on all your landing pages, sales pages. That's how I usually think of them. I don't really think of them in any other use cases. So that's all I can say about full width sections.